Hello, I'm Mrs Barnes. Welcome to A-Level English Literature. So this is a wonderful new course that we are studying here at Millham, but it's one that I've taught for many years in the past. It's been really popular among students and many of those students have then gone on to study literature at university. So the course is AQA Specification B, which focuses on comedy and political and social protest writing. So as a general course overview, we have three units within the course um, and those are comedy, political and social protest and what's called the NEA, the non-examined assessment, which is what you might know as coursework. So as a course overview, uh, there are a range of critical perspectives which we look at in literature and that is the whole idea around this is that students are looking at connections across literary texts. So whatever they study, we're looking at the, the common links between literature texts. So that might be through genres or through different themes that arise in literature across time. So all, all of those texts then are viewed through these critical lenses. So as an example here, we could have feminist lenses, comedy, protest, Marxist lenses. And then the idea is that we have these spectacles that are the spectacles of a comedy critic. And we would look at the pieces of literature through those glasses, through those perspectives. And so that does mean that central to what we're doing as well is the influence of context. And so it's really important in developing students' understanding of those texts in that way. So in terms of those different elements of the course, there is comedy, of course, as I said. And so this is paper one. And we, so we start by looking at this classical genre of literature, a genre that stretches right back to Greek theatre. So one of the texts that we study is Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. And so this is Shakespeare's final comedy, his very last comedy. So it's often seen as being at the peak of his comedic writing prowess. And so we explore the way that he plays with devices such as disguise and deception and mistaken identity to create a love triangle which leads to absolute chaos. We all know of course that comedies are going to end in this trio of marriages but we just enjoy the ride of seeing how they will get to that point. We then also study the importance of being earnest which is Oscar Wilde's most famous play that is loved by audiences and students and I've seen many a student sitting and writing an essay and giggling away as they're writing it about the absurdities in his play. So Wilde takes those same ideas that Shakespeare uses of deception, mistaken identity, etc. That recognition that it's going to end in marriages. But Wilde just takes it to absurd and absolutely hilarious extremes. And it does, of course, contain the marvellous Lady Bracknell, who is the classic mould of the comic villain who has been copied in so many texts ever since. We then look at AQA's anthology of comedy poems. So this is a collection of comedic poems that go from the 18th century right up until post 2000. And so these include political and social satire, along with issues of gender and power that link really well across the rest of the course. And so it cre creates those wonderful connections for students to be able to make those links across their different areas of study. So then there is the political and social protest writing element which is a real firm favourite among students because it, excuse me, it allows them to focus on the ways that writers explore those issues of power and powerlessness in society, which they always find so engaging. So we study Khalid Husseini's The Kite Runner, 
which gives students a bit of an insight into Afghanistan before it was hit by this range of conflicts, starting with the Russian invasion, which really tore the country apart. But at the heart of that, what we study in the novel is this relationship between two boys, one of them rich, one of them poor, and an event that changed both of their lives forever. And that event is alluded to on that cover. We then also, sorry, just a moment. We then also study Heinrich Ibsen's A Doll's House. Um, so for anyone who's not come across Ibsen before, he is one of the most loved dramatists of all time. He is second only to Shakespeare in terms of how frequently his plays are still performed. Um, and The Doll's House, which we study, again, is an, a, a one that loads of students really love. Um, it's a play that was notorious in the 19th century when it was written, and there are ideas about it shaking across rooftops across Europe. Um, it is a really a feminist play but also a, a humanist play as Ibsen himself argued but the ending of it is so controversial um, even today that it's a great source of debate in classrooms when we study it. Excuse me. Uh, we then also study a collection of poetry by Tony Harrison which gives a brilliant little local connection because despite the fact that Harrison was brought up in Leeds and mostly focuses writing on Leeds in particular, he is writing about the devastating effects of the closure of the mines in the 1980s and how that affected working class communities. So what students then do with this, on this exam they also have some un, an unseen text. So they use all the skills that they've developed through studying those political and social protest texts to then look at a piece of unseen text and explore how a writer has raised issues of protest in that text. So our final unit then, the non-examined assessment or coursework as everybody still calls it. Um, it is a brilliant part of the course. I absolutely love teaching this element because it really gives students a bit of freedom of choice in their own studies. It's very challenging but it also prepares students really thoroughly for their next steps in life. So we support students in choosing texts that are suitable. So the idea is that they look at them again through these lenses. So here the lenses are much more the feminist and the Marxist and some others which I will show you. So it is that independent choice. They choose one novel and one collection of poems and then they are exploring those check those texts sorry um, through those different critical lenses. So they would pick two of these different critical lenses. Again, we give them guidance on them and they have a book which you can just see a little picture of there on the screen that has little snapshots of those critical lenses. Um, and those also then complement the rest of the course because if you're looking at something like feminism, if you're looking at something like Marxism or post-colonialism, all of those have those issues of power and powerlessness. Comedy explores some of those different ideas narrative is central to everything that we do in literature so it does really help them to build up those those excellent skills that help them in exams and even the whole process of doing a piece of coursework where students are working independently and then working with a teacher to help develop and refine their ideas are really excellent ways to hone those essay writing skills that are crucial for exams and of course, a crucial in communication in life. So in terms of skills that students develop, there are an enormous range of amazing skills that students develop in English literature. So it's highly valued, of course, by employers and by universities 
<clears throat> due to the range of critical thinking skills that it fosters. So all essays are also marked in the same way. So they, they are just working on those core skills all the time in every element of the course. So all questions also focus on debates. And so this develops an amazing a range of skills as well because there's lots of discussion and evaluation in class. They're, they learn to structure and develop really effective arguments that are supported by evidence. And then they further develop those ever crucial written and spoken English skills. So that is me done. That is our wonderful A-level literature course. And if you would like to know any more about it, please do come and see me or email me. My email's down there. Um, my room is L13 and you can come and see me anytime. So thank you very much.